All right, guys, I'm gonna bring in a co-host. This is uh, someone that actually just played a little bit earlier in the uh, in the evening. We got uh, GFN Rush Zone. I'm gonna hop in and perhaps act as a co-host for me. That'll be nice. I don't have to listen to my voice constantly. But we're gonna do a little bit of a mic check before we get live uh, with the final matchup of the night at uh, about 15 minutes. So, uh, let's see. You guys were able to, to take down Rise. Feels pretty good, right? Um, yeah, um, yeah it, it was was pretty good. Um, Partly myself, I underestimated how good they were, but um, the team as a whole, we kind of went in with a level head and tried our best, execute mm -hmm. our tactics the best we could, and um, it obviously pulled through, and we're really happy with that. Yeah, pretty solid stuff. Now, um, have you, uh, have you, do you visit the splash damage forums at all? Um, I've potted on there a few times, but I generally find those kind of forums are filled with more casual players than the players that would interest me. Right. I kind of stick to um, Brinkish comments and uh, ESL forums. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, um, I think that that uh, there's been you know, quite a bit of discussion, and I, I think most people are, are pretty happy with the ESL rules, obviously the, the ones that are competing in this tournament. Uh, in North America, there's been uh, quite a bit of more discussion because we've had a, a few tournaments run that had some more uh, lenient rules. Where um, mm. things like, I, I think everyone loves um, the one engineer. Uh, oh, excuse me, one mine per engineer and one turret per team. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, um, that does make sense. Um, obviously, the we don't have one mine per team in ESL. Obviously, it would change the gameplay a lot. Oh, it's and it's a uh, one one mine per engineer, one oh, one, mine per, one oh, turret yeah, per team. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, what, what the ESL rules are, and then. Oh. Um, but then like, a couple of people have had uh, some issue with things like downfire and self-revive. Um, mm -hmm. Adrenaline is pretty obvious, although since I've witnessed uh, a double full hold today, um, you know, it kind of just goes to show that even though ESL has done a fantastic job making the game far more uh, likely to, for times to be set, there are still, there's still that wiggle room for double full holds and it's a bit yeah. too high. I think I think ESL have done a great job with the config. Um, I feel people are kind of bouncing around the idea of grenade shooting. It's pretty much it's really strong. It's pretty much having a grenade launcher you can shoot between reloading. But um, I personally think it's a great addition to the game. It, it's you can use it so well uh, yeah. strategically, and it's not easy to be really good at it. But um, the game itself, especially the way the um, the maps have been designed, they're designed to be very defense heavy, so it is quite hard to take defenses. When you have two equal le level teams, it's quite quite easy to see yeah. um, double holds, and that can be frustrating because even though one team could be slightly better than the other, they're close enough for the full hold to happen. Yeah. So I would say ESL have done a very good game, and until we see the source development kit come out, um, there's not much they can do to help that. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking though, um, before that might happen, Splash Damage will probably implement some sort of respawn tweaks. They've already done a couple of things, but it's just not quite enough. Yeah, um, um, I, I think it's quite... I think it's, Obviously, I'm not exactly a programmer myself. I don't understand these things to the extent Splash Damage do, but it can't be too hard to add in a variable <laughs> to change the respawn timer you know, for either team just to help level it out. So people who do run tournaments can look in depth to this and set, say, 15 seconds for defenders, 20 seconds to attack, which would make it a bit more level. But if they did do that, that would that would help a lot, and also the spawn protection. If you've probably watched on Terminal, people just run straight yes. into the glass box, and it's just it's so frustrating. But it's part of the game at the minute, so you just got you got to embrace it. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think people their resistance to the ESL rules seem to be coming from that it's not quote unquote brink. Um, I I I, yeah. I, I kind of disagree. I feel like it's it still looks like brink to me. The problem is more a matter of I think. Okay, I think once we get to the point where, and I hope we get to the point where, you have teams setting times regularly, and we get some weapon tweaks so that, um, like, spread... It doesn't make sense to me that spread is active on in, in, even the first bullet. Um, yeah, that, that is quite confusing. Coming from a CSS background, that was quite a lot to um, take on. You two yeah. used to just bopping around corners, shooting one AK bullet and getting a kill. Now you can't do that in this game. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I can understand, you know, the resistance to wanting to have a, you know, Diablo-style click, 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 
kind of game. Basically, if you figure out how long you need to wait between shots. But what I would like to do is maybe see the first maybe two bullets be true, and then um, you know after that, yes, there should be a penalty for holding down the button. Yeah, yeah, I do agree that. That I makes think, sense. Um, one thing splash damage has kind of um, overlooked is that uh, it would be a lot more. It would, it would be more about the frags this game because it's quite obvious to see that um, frags kind of mean almost nothing in this game with the respawn timers. You can get five kills, but as long as you don't get someone on the objective, that means nothing. Well, so, um, especially with the way that the respawn timers are. Yeah, yeah. exactly that as well. So um, even though um, Brink has made a quote unquote unbalanced game. The fact that they have to remove these things like uh, um, adrenaline and such like that just to make it balance is understandable, but unfortunate at the same time. Yeah. This should be quite an interesting match. I personally haven't seen either play or played either, so um, I'm quite interested to see what they have to bring and how they shape up against some of the teams that I've seen so far. I mean, by far we have a lot of extremely talented teams, especially in this tournament, and um, some of them I've had the pleasure to play against and become friends with and prac with, which has been really great. So um, I'm quite interested to see what are these other teams I haven't met yet have to bring. Uh, it's time to go. Uh, there yeah, it yeah. is. All yeah. right. Right on time. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Almost there. <laughs> All right. We're going to go live and uh, see out of the gate we're going to have resistance on offense. And finally the door is open. I can go watch them. Ooh. Um, yeah, so these are, the, these are the long hallways that they get to travel down. Mm. Um, yeah, I have to say they, um, they did a bit clutter heavy. But one thing I have to do notice to say really quickly is that um, BrinkTeam.et are running with three medics and one energy. That means they're going to be low on the buffs, but they see how they play this. They do have those extra revives and health buffs. Looks like they're going to take the right side, and he already gets a frag on um, clients there. Yeah, and I'm watching uh, the opening here for... Well, I guess it's some sort of attempt. They did not have an objective class with them, but uh, the backside has been completely demolished already. Mm. And uh, I can't looks like you have there. two underground looking to take the stairs up uh, the middle stairs right here. Yeah. Um, let's see if we can make anything happen. I'm getting the kill on Tavs there. So they're pushing out to the right side. The objective class is on site. Indeed. So we got. Mikso trying to defend. He's uh, going underneath the stairs. He said, though, ooh, Squid going to try to climb the generators to get up to the second level. Not going to happen. Yeah, it's very hard to take those um, higher grounds. And with the cover those um, turbines give you as well, very hard to take. Yeah. Now, uh, do you have any um, thoughts about turret placements where we've got, say, Seamoon's turret? Well, um, Siemens Turret, I haven't seen that one so far, but then again, I'd say I haven't played this map before. It wouldn't be where I would place it, um, but let's we'll see how it goes. Um, again, Turret's not as strong, uh, not as useful in this game as once thought, um, I suppose. It takes yeah. more often to lock on, but again, a good Turret placement can be the, can be the you know 20% or 0% on a hack objective. Well, so, I'm just see well, how that goes. I like to think of them like doorbells. They basically are... We want to put them in places where the other team has to deal with them and um, basically forces oh, yeah, you know, some sort of uh, alarm, you know, just yeah. obviously that your turret's getting damaged. Hey, that, yeah. that, that doesn't Multiple help, but um, other than that, they really don't have much use. <laughs> yeah, sometimes um, sometimes you can find yourself taking a, uh, being attacked and uh, taking a wipe and then feeling really confident and just running on site and then forgetting completely about a turret in a corner and just takes out your objective class and then you're yeah. sitting there going, oh, I didn't anyone see that. Which, which so, can yeah, be again. kind of hilarious. I, I like to laugh at those moments. That being said, it looks like we did have someone from security hopping up into the uh, the window near the bridge controls. Sakin's trying to push on, from the generator side. Let's see if he can get in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's able to take down Avengers from Defiance. Ta uh, Tabs is still in there though, so he's got to deal with him. There's a medic, a very Rambo medic here. And can he get down yeah, too? Whoa, he blows through Simoon and will take down the turret. Look, here we go, yeah, he can't move anywhere until he gets rid of his turret. Yes, that's at least five. And here comes Tabs again. Like he has to wait. And, and down again, he goes. Look, nice enough night. Time. Enough, it just shows you how strong a turret can be. Enough time for your team to react because he has to deal with that turret that's covering the side. Now, not only does he have to react, he will be out of bullets by the time he's exactly, done reacting. Exactly, as well. There's, there's, there's just more seconds on the fact that more seconds on the team to react. Again, yeah. oh, it looks like um, Joshua getting in there. So I'm going to watch taking a little Any bit longer. 
And uh, he's still working those lower stairs. And yeah. the clients are still aware of him, but he's causing some nuisance. Alright, we got a three man push generator side, and they're just kind of peeking around the edges at this moment. We need to watch their flanks, to be honest. Yeah, um, Joshua was in the middle there and um, was causing a lot of nuisance. And yeah, he's doing it now again. Yeah. That could have been very strong for um, Brink Team, but again, defense, defense locking them down. Squid there taking two very strong plays and using that turbine for cover. He's out on top. Of the he doesn't see his. Ah! Oh. Yeah. I see him passing behind Didn't him. see it. Juve comes in though. And he's yeah, there, so but far. Down, still got the high ground there. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is a, really a, a headache of a map to, to try to press. If he becomes sick, and can he get Juve down again? I mean, rather, um, so, excuse me, he's already gotten Simoon down. I saw the, uh, the turrets. It's like, um, it looks like they are getting the hacked out now, so that's quite good on them. Obviously, we mm -hmm. can't see, so. Nice <laughs> nades, Dan. Person and zoom right in. It looks like getting quite a lot on it, actually, as well. Yeah, it's about 15, I would say, 15%. Simoon is out of position, um, so that's a plus for them. And look at this. Uh, oh, it looks like Bing Team are destroying the clients. The clients are just all over the place, not being coordinated, taking the defense side. Yeah, dude, Saken, uh, look, look at what he's been doing behind this fan so consistently. Yeah, it's so strong. It's, you have the upper ground and you have the cover. It's, it's silly not to use that as yeah. defense or attacking. That being said, Lamp just got stopped, so down he goes. So we might see a reset just in terms of positions. For these two teams, here comes uh, Squid. And doesn't really do a whole lot. He basically just runs in and dies. Cause that's, you know, there is there's no sl slash kill in Brink. <laughs> I guess that's one, one way to do it. Hopefully that's what he meant to do. But well, sometimes it is um is smart to run out and die, uh, because you know you can save uh, your soldier um save your soldier some ammo there. One thing I do notice is that, especially on some maps where you don't have a soldier class because it's advantageous to have that set up, it is just easier just to run out, see what frags you can get with your pistols, and then respawn. Yeah, well, and not only that is the ammo thing, but also just for medics, you get all your pips back. So. Yeah, yeah, medics as well. If, if, if you're a medic with, say, only at least one pip left, it's, you might as well just run out, try and get some frags, and respawn. Because yeah. you're not going to be much use. And that's actually something I do on. Um, Whenever I'm pubbing it up, and it's pretty hilarious because you know all of a sudden I'll do I'll be very tactical and cautious, and then all of a sudden I just go guns blazing, and people are like, "What? What did you just do?" And it's, what's really funny is when I get half my team following me because I'm the one using <laughs> in-game in VoIP, and they all run out, yeah. and I'm like, "I, I didn't say to, to follow this guy me." Knows what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> it can be Again, kind of fun. Um, it doesn't look like even though Brink Team ET are playing quite strong and they're, they're getting the frags, okay, and I don't think they're working as a team. To the potential they could, they can't. They're getting people in by right. all means, right. and they're getting the frags. But again, you just they need to do that at once, or you get defiance that's gonna call call positions or whatever and just pick them off one by one. Yeah, the other thing I'm seeing is that, uh, for example, defiance the moon is in the exact same spot. So now is the time that we start seeing nades go straight up to him. Um, you know that that should be kind of a, an obvious thing. Kind of no look nades. But it's not happening. Another thing I do want to note is that uh, Lamp, Lamp here, or Lamp, I think it's a Lamp, the other stuff is silent. <laughs> Lamp, but Lamp, he's playing very aggressive for the objective role. That's one thing I don't enjoy yeah. because yeah, look, he, I just saw Mixo, he, Mixo, he actually faced to get that gib on on the objective frag, on the objective um, class. Because he knows as soon as that guy's dead, that's 20 seconds and you know, you don't have to worry about the frag. Exactly, exactly. Oh my so, um, god, <laughs> Simoon, you see him just roll through Joshua and Saken? <laughs> yeah, the um, revolver is so strong, as, as he's probably saw sort of Ducky play, just, oh, all you need is a decent aim, and then you can just devastate teams with that revolver. Yeah. I am glad that we're going to get to see two maps we've not seen today, though. Uh, both yeah, Reactor um, and Aquarium. <laughs> it's quite um, frustrating to see Terminal and Aqua over and over and over again. I'm actually amazed that we didn't see Aquarium before. Kind of a rare thing. Yeah, I think a lot of teams kind of uh, because a lot of teams like it. A lot of people want to, people stay away from it because it's like, oh, this is this team's best map, so we right. want to choose uh, right. Shipyard because they don't play it, or um, we can choose Terminal because it's the decider map in ESL. We practice it a lot, so we're good at it, and you know other things like that. 
And how many games have you had to go to this to side this map? Enemy how many games have we had to play to get to play Terminal? Uh, no, no, two. How many times have you had to use the deciding map? Uh, only once against SGS in the ESL Night Cup. We had to play them because we both oh, we both got to the second part in... Right. Oh my god, I can't remember. Wow, uh, <laughs> yeah, SGS are going to be quite frustrated with this if we're not playing. But um, yeah, the great guys, it was one of the best games we played and it was quite late at night as well. So we were all getting really tired and we both played ridiculously well. SGS, <laughs> notably the better half, but we both get... Not, I'm not sure if we get a full hold, but we both draw. So we have to go into a decider map right. and play terminal. But unfortunately, if you read the um, forum posts and stuff like that, uh, the second half of the terminal, our server crashed. Oh. And um, we were like, uh, I can't be bothered going to bed. We were just like, okay, yes, yes, you're obviously the better team and just take it. It's and GG. In, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um, the Imp when wanted to go out with his mates anyway. Oh, it definitely sent me a shipyard. I can't remember how we did. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, as I was saying, um, we just kind of, it was, it was late, in wanted to go out with his mates, yeah. so we just said, like, yeah, we obviously won. Uh, Saken's not going to be able to survive too long, but um, he was able to take down the turret. Defiance flushes the objective side with the with the turbines. Let's see. Yep, looks like they have uh, been able to reclaim. But for a moment there, they were kind of weak. A little bit focused yeah. elsewhere. Um, what you got? To, what I've realized is work. What I've realized that works with um, a reactor is uh, flashes. I haven't seen that yet. Yes. Um, obviously, um, the attacking team uh, in Brinkton got ET don't have a soldier to flash, but getting that getting that flash above middle can devastate three four mm -hmm. players easily. Oh and yeah. Well, just straight in. But, well, and, um, well yeah. here's here's one thing I don't think people don't really realize is that it'll be an itty bitty head, but their head is visible unless they're yeah, exactly. on the other side and crouching down. Um, like. It, if you press that middle from both sides, you will always see the guy up there. Unless he, like, literally ducks down the stairs or goes into the doorway. Some, yeah, some part of him revolver. is exposed. All you need is a revolver and that head's bye-bye, you know? If he hasn't got any buffs on him, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Again, we see Defiant just holding, locking down, getting those frags. We've got some nice minds up. Joshua using some colorful language to express his feelings about the game. Obviously. <laughs> yes. So yes, this is an ET team that wants it. Well, they can they can go back and play ET, I guess. Yeah, they, they yeah go back and play ET. See if you don't like the game. Again, they get up top, but um, Lock is shutting them down. Team the ET, and again, he's just he's just going out to that um that balcony where you then you to fix the bridge and just and tags on them, getting the calls in, figuring out where they go. But um, I do have to say, Brink Team are chipping away at that um that hack objective. I can't see are. exactly how much they've got uh, it. About it's, 30 to them, maybe. Yeah, yeah, about a third of the way. Maybe not quite. So, eight minutes in, it's not ideal, but it's still doable if they put it together. Yeah. And again, we have to see that maze for the second half of this map, if you've ever played it. The pleasure mm -hmm. of playing it. Yeah, that is quite uh, crazy. I think I think we had to um, have a special session on there to learn that map because I don't know what splash damage we're thinking, but it is just a maze. Yeah. It. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like I, I, I look at some of the map design and I, I like some of the main passageways that make sense, but then you've got like all these side corridors, and it's not like they're side corridors where you're using them with like the smart system or anything. It's just. Hi, let's give you eight hallways. Yeah, and you can choose much. to like, get to the same place. Four sets of stairs. You just turn like eight corners to the left, and it just well, what's the point? <laughs> yeah. Just give me some barrels to to smart over. Be much happier. <laughs> Defiance, um, playing yeah, I was gonna say playing aggressive there. You shouldn't be out of position. I think they're getting a bit, a little bit cocky here. Not um, holding the position, pushing out. Yeah, we gotta go said, double, double push through the central stair stairwell. Mm. Just waiting for them to hit a mine now. Oh, no, they're gonna hit Mixo. Mixo and getting the Volvo headshot, which unfortunately is not as easy as it looks. Oh, probably Ducky was telling me something different there, but um, I do try and end up getting a body frag all the time. So I'll hand it to him there. <laughs> 
All right, so we got Saken pushing through with Juke. Juke take the he's running in there. He's trying to get underneath them, which is the smartest, but then perhaps they're ready to take him out. But again, Saken should have been in there with him, you know, spreading out, covering different directions. But again, I don't think that's a lot of teamwork for an ET team. Yeah. Maybe they just expect to show up and win. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. It could just be that. It wouldn't be... You know, it wouldn't be unthought of to see a team, just a high ET team, just come in and go, well, it's basically ET, isn't it? Because it's made by Splash Damage, just come in and then the teams that actually put the time in to think about the game, just show them how it's done. Well, sure we'll see. That, that yeah. does remain to be seen. We have to see the uh, science oh, yeah, switch, because it might be that um, maybe yeah. with the defensive yeah. bias yeah. of this map, it's just so exactly. extreme, you know. Joshua is on top actually, he's got a great position and um, well, you actually lock there taking down that objective plus is down. I'm not sure if he gives yet though. Like, Again Joshua just uh, lurking lurking in that little room, making it really hard, but he's getting the frags, he's getting the look, but he's just not working as a team and unfortunately you can get those one two frags, but as I said in this game, frags doesn't mean anything if you don't you know, work as a team and get your whole team in. Whole team hold and that'll Obviously, that box needs to get hacked. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's impressive how just uh, from a straight frag perspective, Defiance is dying a lot. Yeah, but they are. They they just do not have the um, area control, the brink team. You'll see um you'll see a lot of good teams just um, get taken apart like ten minutes into uh, when well, they're defending, ten minutes in into defending, and they get taken apart because they just get slacky. Well, and, and they stop pushing, and then they just realise, oh, I spawn, you know, five minutes, you know, five seconds around the corner, I get in anyway. And then um, some teams take advantage of this smartly, and then they get those five percent, you know, little chips into the objective, and they end up taking it for a win. So again, you, you may end up getting cocky, you may end up getting the frags, you may end up getting frags, but you come in five seconds later. But still, you know, again, I don't, I don't think it's smart play at all. I think this game has to be smart. Well, and what I don't get is, how could it be an ET team that's essentially making the uh, non-objective game mistake, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, obviously, I, I, from what I've seen so far, uh, Lamp has been quite, he's quite, he seems quite a fragger, quite aggressive, so he wouldn't, definitely not a objective role, I would say, a soldier role, definitely, that's why we stick Ducky into well, there, There's something out of the, out of the ET playbook, we just saw essentially, um, Joshua and Saken essentially spawn kill several security members. So the question is, can they now finally get the hack? Where's their guy? They yeah, got Avengers to work it. through who ducks underneath for cover. Oh, he spawned. He just literally just spawned. He's nowhere near. Oh, God. Never mind. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're going to be back in time. Oh, look, here we go. They're doing the, okay, we need to get this final bit done now. They get um, three medics and two operatives. I don't like this at all, I have to say. Um, the Kevlar is so useful in this game. Well, that thing said, here comes the hat. Simoon is about to get the kill, though. Oh, oh. Hello. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, Jeez, my man. God, he kills him. Get back on it. Oh, he's getting, going for the gib. Again, it defines Hello, straight look. on. Yeah, then he goes. But oh, where, where's, where's the other guy? Where's the other... He's on the, he was on the floor watching it all, having a great, having a great view. Okay, Joshua trying to push in to keep the... Pressure on, but then again, just they just unfortunately just yeah. It's a good job by Mixer to push out there and, and shut that down mm. even before it got inside, before they can get cover and whatnot. So we should have a little bit more progress, maybe forty percent. Forty percent. Well, um, looking at the timer, having just over two minutes left, doesn't look too good for BringTeam.e. Obviously, forty percent means absolutely nothing in ES rules, which I don't blame them. It's really hard to. Uh, admin the percentage counters in this game, but um, unfortunately that 40% needs to be 100% for it to mean anything. Yeah, with the ESL rules being what they are, that's exactly right. Yeah. I know a lot of people turn around and just get frustrated with this rule, but um, think of all the adminning, all the screenshots they have to check. You know, they have to get a screenshot on 0 point on on the uh, minutes one second or not pit north second. It's just it's way too much hassle for them, and until there's a genuine inbuilt score screen at the end where it says well, there, there is actually um the game tracks progress so if you for example you're running aquarium and 
your escort gets two steps farther, then you win. Mm -hmm. oh, same, that? Yeah, same thing with hack objectives and build objectives. Where it falls apart is uh, for the bomb uh, objectives. Okay, well, I've, I've probably generally don't stay in the server after I win, so I don't notice this, but, um, oh, I didn't know that, I never knew that. Joshua there again, using creative language, <laughs> creative language, I took English literature uh, at college. <laughs> Motion's running high. Mm. I don't blame him, this map is very hard to take. Yes. It can become extremely frustrating. Well, of course, they, they, did, they did pick an aquarium, so now they're going to have a chance to um, try to keep Defiance off of Reactor and then go into the aquarium, aquarium where yeah. I think we'll probably see a very different game. I bet definitely, yeah. I'll quite play them, as, as I said and as you said, it, um, it could go either way. You know, uh, a decent team can have a really good push and get the bomb plant in two minutes, or you can have a full hold because a decent team can hold. It's all just up to um, practice, I think, with Aquarium because you need to have those push tactics and you need to have that set up. Looks like the Defiance are getting quite cocky here, I have to do say. They are pushing out, taking a frag, realizing, well, there's only five seconds left on the map. So I think um, realizing. Uh, even it, even with uh, like a two operative pack, we're not going to get it. Damn it yeah, it, it was um, <laughs> unfortunate, but don't blame them. The, that doesn't mean they're a bad team, just because they can't get the first objective done. This map is very hard. Can't stress that enough. But yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that spawn time adjustments come sooner than later. Let's run the awards. We've got uh, Defiance Luck, best overall. The Soldier, Mixo, Medic, Lock Again, Engineer, Simoon, Operative, Lamp, most kills, uh, Lock, yeah. once more. I was watching Lock quite a lot and he's, he's quite a strong bragger, I have to say. He definitely um, deserved that top bragger award. I know it's not really deserved as much as whoever gets the most frag gets it. But yes, oh, level 20. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? I mean, it shouldn't matter because you get all the abilities no matter what your exactly, level yeah. is. But, but um, that is pretty clear. But does that mean that they you haven't get, played you with get them? You get the level 20 plays now. You get the level 20 plays. I mean, there's a pretty cool mask in there. You know, I think I, I think I use the hat. The hat that you get for it. So. Well, no, I, I guess I'm speaking more about like, um, are they not familiar with all the abilities and whatnot? Or well, hell, the light body type. You know. <laughs> it would. It would be quite disconcerting if he actually is level 7 and that is his main character and he has only paid 10 hours worth of break that would be ridiculously disconcerting hopefully that isn't the case because that's ridiculously um well uh, on the other hand actually kudos well, well done for getting this far for only playing that many hours <laughs> but again would you not take it seriously this is a lot of money on the line you can win a lot of money i mean they're an et team they're obviously good at the game <laughs> this is, yeah it is <laughs> All right. Well, no wonder he doesn't like the game. He's a level fucking seven. <laughs> Where to? Uh, it's fine. It's like they're straight underground here. Oh, but the squid there getting the cool. Gets one frag. But more importantly, he gets the cool because that could have been devastating on the bed. Fine. Yes. Back up to a five-man push here. Yes. Looks like they are. Turning, not going underground, more taking the left side. I'm not too sure. But it's probably the smart. I see. I, I actually like this, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say why. Um, the side that Defiance is pushing in on. Oh God, flashbang! I love that they. It's the side with cover. Um, of course, you also have the the turbines or the engines or whatever they are uh, inside that you can use to smart up to the second level. Yes, yeah, but I'm, I, actually, I'm going to be quite honest here. It took me a while to realize they were there, and after I knew they were there, I knew which side was which. We have calls for which side, but every time we play, I'll be like, so am I playing that side? Don't you play the other side? It's like, why well, don't you know which side's which? Yeah. So as soon as I actually saw the barrels there, and I was like, Oh, marker, and, yeah. yeah. And just realized, yeah, it is ridiculously helpful. And you have to be aware of things well, like that. Well, and, and this site also uh, gives you the ability to drop down near this cargo stuff and uh, take a lower route to the central staircase. 
Yeah, I mean, oh, um, with those barrels, with those barrels there, if you say you have a position and you need to be on like a medic, a medic whose job is to buff everyone, mm -hmm. um, if your job is to stay on top, you can jump down that side and not worry about getting back up. Right. Because those barrels are there. It's just things like that you have to keep in mind, and it definitely makes the teams um, you know, separates the good from the great. Well, it looks like Seiken has taken over uh, Simon's position with almost pixel accuracy. His turret is slightly over to the uh, to the right, though. Uh, it seems like quite a strong turret that he has put on the other side of the turbine, but um, yeah, it can be quite um, a strong turret. It's definitely going to get some tags, but uh, very nadable and very seeable again. So yeah. um, see how it works. For them. Well, I've actually already seen uh, what they're doing now. Um, you can watch who's this. Uh, Loke just moved away, but they're basically ducking down and just crouching and getting uh, pot shots on it throws down. Yeah, but uh, that, that's pretty smart. That's what I do. If I if I see a turret and I can shoot it, I'll, I'll literally just keep shooting at it, wait until it looks at me, fall away, wait a second, go back. Mm -hmm. just, why not? Because that's it's basically turret has the potential to be a sick man. You know, in some situations. Become so, amazing. Here not? comes the push, and wow, they just got demolished. Uh, whatever nice flashbang they threw did not blind anybody. And the last I guy alive here is Simoon. I'll see if I can follow him before he's dead. Now uh, he's down. Oh, but from I'm behind it's Loke, though. Very solid hit there, and he's taken down, I think that was three. Still alive, getting the second as well. Oh my god. Well, fortunately, nice. the team are particularly aware they know he's trying to go to the Gib. Oh, taken for a second, that could have been very strong. But timing wise, though, actually, resistance should be here pretty quickly. Mm. Yeah, here, here's Mixo. He's already dead. Avengers is up top. And trying to get those gibs, which are can be quite important, but then again, you need to be able to time it right because big team pushing up the middle, retaking the top, and it looks like they're going to get the retake quite convincingly there. Yeah, they just got to respawn for defiance, so they're going to be a little bit late for the party. Again, this is something that I hope changes, where uh, you know the respawn time will really help this game out go a long way. It would be a uh, the um, source development kit can literally bring one just to this game. Just hopefully, there's uh, someone from Splash Damage is listening right there and say, "Please, for the love of God, give us the SDK, and you will have an amazing game." <laughs> yeah. Taking there, trying to get the mind down, kind of putting himself in the front line. So it's something that I do myself quite a lot. Of course, he doesn't get the mind down. Oh, taken by luck again with that revolver. Yeah, we gotta switch over the last and just watch his point of view. Divine is definitely trying stuff. to take on that. Simon trying to get the... Plank, plank going down on the box? Oh, I get the box down, but um, can't obviously see the percentage. Well, at least it's done. And they pretty much committed to this side anyway. Oh my god, Simon even gets a revive and gets back up. Avengers coming in! Oh. And holy shit, Save he's frustrating. Shot again. Save frustrating. Down, oh, down, up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> <laughs> And Again, there's not much you can do about that. You have to get up. You have to get back, and the other team has to get. Yeah, down, but look, so look at this up. pressure. This is absolute amazing pressure yeah. that's being put on. Um, Fines understand that they're the better team here. They, I think they're aware of this, and they know that they're applying pressure, and they need to keep it up. And that's what they're doing. Look, look. Just put a mind. We'll be taken straight in there again. Look, they're not even thinking thought about it. Pass right in there. Avengers, uh, looks like we got a mutual kill. Uh, Tabs okay. is up though. Can he take out Juf? No, no, he cannot. See, Lamp here. This is yeah. See, this is this is what I thought Lamps wanted to do here. He's, he's really paying in his own here. He's got the soldier roll. He's got the Kevlar penetration, but he's got those frags, and he's getting the kills here. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to not see him take uh, most kills in this game. Most trying to push in, and actually he gets flanked and pulled down by. Juf, looks like. Yeah, it is. Juf's getting the second there. It looks like he's actually using a rifle instead of an SMG. Is he doing medium body shots? No, he's just trying to get that long range, those long range tags, obviously. Because he feels it's a lot better in this game. Oh no, he actually is medium body class. Like, sorry about that. He has SMG and rifle. Mm -hmm. He obviously feels it's uh, extremely important to have that extra health and that rifle, which I have seen being used really strongly, actually, on um, Aqua. So hopefully we'll see them use that on Aqua and we can actually see it in its um in its own. Again, like you see Juve just no fearing into the maze because he knows he has the health. But again, Tabs there really to shut him down. 
Yeah, really nice coverage by Saken and Joshua. Though great uh, snipe by Lok. Very oh, nice. Lok's picking up the sniper. Let's see what he does. Ah, one thing I have to do say about the sniper though is that ah, it is really hard to be good at it, but it has the potential to be such a strong weapon. It's just so hard to use right now. So it. So you know, well done for anyone who's mastered it and can use it as a reliable oh, no. weapon. <laughs> Sorry, I I find the moments where you lose your um. Like that, going from someone who's in a revive animation to suddenly being a um, ragdoll, pretty, pretty <laughs> hilarious. There's a girl, oh my he, god, he Loke again. Getting up, then he's like... <laughs> Loke, Loke and Simon are both a rocking rifles. Again, the lock there, just getting those headshots. She's really helpful, you know, just one shot, get that kill and... Uh, There's a hack. He's going to get at least 15% on that because of those racks. But, um, Nah. Simon needs to run. Oh. He dodges the nades and he's using the, the pillars pretty well. Comes back out and will die. I think he lost his hack uh, connection there. He's trying to yeah. rush back. That being said, yeah, Watch we. Uh, actually, we're still Phoenix. only. Yeah, not a lot of hack got done. Not a lot of hack. It has to be quite on par with um, Brink Team that you see's efforts here. Yeah, that being said, they got 12 those. more minutes to work with it, so. Mm, of course, they've put, yeah, 12 minutes. I mean. Anything can happen in 12 minutes. You know, you just need someone to go, right, guys, this is how it's going to happen. Then turns around, you know. But we'll see how it happens. Nice wall jump by Simoon uh, to dodge having to hop over the barrels. I like that. And he's hacking. He is hacking. I think he's rushed right smart, in there. Yeah. He's using that um, pillar. Taken's having trouble jumping back, but then Squeak comes from the side, giving, getting the give as well. And showing that no more hack for you. Defiance, not afraid to get right in there with the face. Yeah, it looks like we got a pretty much a full respawn for Defiance. Yeah, 5 and 5, to be what interesting happens. Oh, Chief getting the first frag on tabs there with the rifle, proving quite a nuisance with that <laughs> rifle. I mean, why not? You're, you're not using much smart, you know, you're not moving around much, right. you're holding a station position, why not? Mm -hmm. And actually, the, you know, the being able to snipe these guys from the down below second level, just take away their advantage before you even enter the room. I mean, that, that's the biggest thing, is that if yeah. you're using a shorter range weapon, you have to push into the room, you have to push through the choke point. But if you're using Actually, the rifles, that's... you have the opportunity to even just avoid that. I mean, you're playing lottery, so if you're trying to shoot someone at the other side of the map with an SM with the Carb 9, you know, I mean, it's, it's hit a mess. The spray pattern's so random and the circle is quite lo so large at a long distance. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, you know, if, um, you know, if Nice nade right toss. Oh my god, yeah. Avengers is back up and Sega doesn't see it! <laughs> he just punched <gasps> him in the face, see nice that? That's a nice kill. That was nice. Mixo has also taken this uh, upper ground, and they're, they're trying to buff each other, but oh my god, Lamp comes in and kills them both. Again, just fantastic frag, I have to say. He's been playing Although, getting this oh, frag, important frags. Another Lazarus grenade, and it looks like Mixo is up. And Loke is up on second level, so where is their... Oh my god, where is their operative to hack this damn thing? Is this just one of those amazing times where they actually have upper level, but they do not have the actual objective class? It happens there so often, and it's the most frustrating thing in the world. There he is. Yeah, it is like, and hack them to have the objective, and it's like, I'll just respond, and everyone's just like, oh yeah. my god. Fuck my life, basically, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But it looks like he's going to, oh, he's going to get plenty of percentage on this one. Oh, you're going to be shocked, so but they got to cover his back. Oh, Joshua's getting that. Right? Oh, he's, he's, still he's still up. He's still alive. Up. Oh, my God, and he's still, still hacking. Staying alive. Joshua desperately trying to find some space. Joshua needs to oh, get up. Simon, smart oh, it, oh, he's able to defend himself against one, but again, Lamp saving the day. Let's see what the progress is. Oh, man, that's 50% easy. Here comes the well, mine. Yeah, again, it just is so, if you, if you catch a team, like, if you get wiper team and there's 15 seconds of respawn, that's uh, so much hack that uh, they can't, you know, can't do anything about just timing those pushes. Well, I'm not sure if they are timing the pushes, but if you get a good time to push, you can devastate a handbox. Now I'm playing a bit too confident there, and finally taking two frags early on into this respawn. Looks like they're trying, yep, they're looking like they're going to take the left side and get in there, see where they can make for themselves, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this. Like, the, the way that the way that Loke is pushing this, um, he's realized that they really focused all of their attention on the doorway, 
and have their bats turned. So he's been able to pick up, oh, not able to kill uh, Joshua, but he's been able to pick up kills against Saken almost every single time. And Saken, as we saw last map, was, was a pretty solid fragger. So it's it's great to see um, them picking up on that and using it against them, you know? You gotta, you gotta notice yeah, you have to the weaknesses make... and exploit them. Yeah, you have to you have to be aware of how a team plays. You can't play, especially a game like this. I mean, you play Counter Strike, you play one round, and then the next round they can play completely and utterly different. You just have to, it's, it comes down to experience. But in this game, you can play five minutes and go, okay, they constantly do this. Let's make sure we do this, and we should be okay. <clears throat> that being said, Saken is going to get uh, shot from both ends here. He needs to now try to defend himself. Tavs takes him down. Tavs is Benzies. an engineer. Quite frankly, you know what I would do? Uh, in addition to taking out this turret, I would go place an offensive mine right back here. Because the, Sa mines, Saken yeah. has freaking stood here every freaking time, put a mine up there, and you get, you know, a free kill. Or just I trying to make so getting headshot this time in there, unfortunately, but what can you do in the heat of a massive battle? So yeah, offensive, offensive mind, just to quickly uh, comment on those, yeah, if you can get them down, if they, like, again, if, if you end up catching an enemy on a 15 second respawn, you know, you get them down immediately. So, so useful for knockdowns. Even and if completely they're unexpected. Knockdowns. Exactly, as well. But again, like, if they don't have the time, you definitely need that extra engineer to be a fragger to help hold oh. place. So again, it's a comms he comes out kind of thing. You need to understand the situation. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess I was speaking more to, there was one point where we were just hunting for an operative and, you know, it, basically, Defiance already had quote-unquote position. Um, mm. Let's see if I can get a better angle and watch this. Not really. Yeah, one thing you have to notice is that it, it may not get the kill, but it does some damage, and it may not even do the damage. It's it tells you where a player is. Like, if you have a small corridor and you put a mine there, they can't pass that mine without that little box on the left going away. So right. you know that they're... Right. Yeah, it's, it's then, a doorbell. Yeah, exactly. It's, again, <laughs> it's, it's a doorbell. It's like the turret. As again, it's, you know, you can put it somewhere, you can you hit that little plus one, plus two, plus three turret in the corner, you know there's someone there. Or you can see the health going down, you know, someone's there. Ooh, Avengers is, is going to be... Oh, I thought it was going to be sneaky. It looks like like it has the upper ground here, actually, mixed out in that little um, bridge room. Nice. But it doesn't look like he has any teams locked in. Oh, They're not nice luck. Onto Juf. Kills off Juf, yeah. yeah. Fighting a mix, so frustrated. Good use of cover by Luke. And he always oh, able to get the self oh, stim. Yes. Nice. Mine's very strong here. Tavs miles away. Trying to get that frag on Squid. It does. It's being but fights. This is the fight at the moment. It's five minutes left. They need to get this hack. Looks like they're playing smart, they're playing quite forward as well to give Simon as much time as possible. Yeah, I'm gonna hop out third person and take a look Joshua. at this. Yeah, Joshua getting the frag on to mix so then, but Simon is the person he's still alive to have turned around. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Juice. Simon obviously getting taken by my Juice, that rifle proof <laughs> extremely nuisance at a distance. And, and there's Mixo looking for the revive, but he's already been gibbed, so. Oh. Really, really solid though. We gotta be up to the 70s though. Yeah, now we're in 80% yeah. range. Five, Five minutes. minutes. Doable, completely doable. Two more pushes. Is there so many more waves in there. You can't take five minutes. I think every 20 seconds wave took about 20 seconds to get there. So say every 40 seconds, there's a new opportunity. Right. Plenty of plenty of time. All right, I'm gonna watch Loki as he makes this push in. This time, uh, he's not gonna be choosing. I mean, uh, basically, he's always chosen the non-turbine side but i like mm. how he does change it up oh i guess ooh. wow he just out shoots his opponent able to take down a squid he needs to self Avengers. commit oh then Avengers was hiding uh at the stairs proving a nuisance to catch catching two people's nice. attention if i'm facing i'm pretty sure so well he's gonna go in for the defense the fight here getting the hack oh it looks like it's at least at least 90 percent yep and now, and now they're trying to find the, the best spot. I would actually re retake that second uh, level. Oh, oh, they did it! They did it! It's still late. Oh, just getting that final second, and here we are. Um, so that, mates, that right there uh, basically means that Defiance will uh, consider this a win. I think yeah. they're going to they're play it out anyway. Yeah, it's always good. To, you, never, you never say no to any practice against decent teams under decent conditions. This, this is a seldom seen part of the map as well, so yeah. experience is useful whether you want it or not. You can't deny that. Looks oh, like right. they're taking 
Uh, I can't tell what side it is, but... No. Yeah, I know, I know, right? Let, let's, let's do class loadout here. We've got, uh, for the offense, which of course is still defiance, uh, two meds, one sol- no, three meds, one soldier, one engineer. Um, a... soldier is gonna be Samir. Mm, yeah, yeah um, soldier, fun, yeah. one soldier on this map. But it wouldn't be a bad idea to go two soldiers on the map, just because how close quarters is. I mean, right. is, if you have the site, then just pile onto the site, get the site. It's like... It's not too open, so two soldiers, not a bad idea. Um, both teams... Oh, see, look, uh, the plants changed to the two soldier loadout as well, realising that maybe it is the best option just to quickly get this plant. Um, yeah, actually, um, when you get stopped on the very first attempt, because you can get there before the defense. Yeah, you can. If you if you know this map better than the defense, you can get there way before, and um, if you pick the right side, and obviously the side that they don't pick, or if right. they even know where they're going. Oh, there it is. Oh, looks actually, like the plant's getting the Now we just need to see some engineers. Oh, fortunately, oh, maybe they didn't take this in command, but Saken is the only engineer. Wow, for, um, and he's dead. TT, and he's down. It doesn't look good, I have to say. Yeah. Well, Avengers. Oh, no, no, lamp, lamp one NG, lamp one NG. Oh, uh, yeah, again. So let's see if I can find um, him here. There we go, lamp. Oh, the there was an offensive mind that takes down lamp. <laughs> Just strong, just smart, strong play. It's these little things that you give them it. Three down. seconds on the on the bomb. Yeah, Saken and Lamp are both down. Oh, but it looks like Joshua, you're not an NG. In defiance. Oh, That'll do it. Again. Reactor we has been Sneaking destroyed. Well played. I told you to do this. Yes, this wasn't the plan. <clears throat> So yeah, very solid work by Defiance, and this is um, you know, this is a team that uh, had to come back through the last chance qualifier in order to get their spot, um, but have done solidly so. So I'm very happy to see that, and uh, and see so now we, we, we have we have an aquarium to work through as well. Do you want to quickly run through the rewards while we're doing it? Yes, we've got Lamp overall, Best Soldier, Lamp, good lord, it's all Lamp. Um, uh, it's the Best Medic, Mixo, Engineer, Saken, Operative, Sea Moon, and Kills, Loke, as one might expect with the massive amount of damage he was outputting yeah. uh, with the beautiful flank route. Constantly I was, um, that map. Uh, was uh, rooting for Lamp to get the top frags, but he must have been quite close. Loke, again, still a strong fragger, proving very useful. Not very useful to his team, I game. Well, I, I think, you know, Loke was so consistently able to get two frags every single push. Yeah, exactly. And, um, then, and that's the difference between being able to um, hold for another 40 seconds or the other team getting 15% on the hack box. It's just it's those two two frags. And getting the calls as well. One thing that um, is seldom seen is uh, that the fact that you know where they are, where they're coming, which is so useful. It's invaluable information. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the loadouts are going to be, but um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, eventually, both teams did uh, did look towards the three medic loadout for uh, re resort, um, no resort reactor, sorry. Yeah. Um, which I don't, I personally don't agree with, just because I I think engineers are so useful, ridiculously strong. Yeah. But um, it's up to them. It's the third game. <laughs> Need clan PM Everything me. Was... <laughs> 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 oh, it's well, you're funny. Looks like there's um, obviously emotions running high and uh, vent, mumble, teen speak, whatever they use. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if Defiance does stay with a loadout. Two soldiers, two medics, NG, strong, not Yeah, it's pretty standard. As, as I would say, not the strongest, because I do like that double NG play, engineer play, but. Um, would be surprised if they don't go for that. Well, but see, but for for um, aquarium and five v five. Well, even even on, on offense, effect. I don't know if you need the double engineer. I, I think it actually is better to have the the extra nades uh, from the soldier. Well, um, nades can be quite yeah. As I said, the the, the soldier nades ridiculously strong, ridiculously helpful. They can flashes those molotovs can be extremely useful. I don't I don't denote the soldier being a great class, but. Maybe it's just my personal. personal right, because I, I, when I, when I, you said it, I totally thought you were saying a soldier was complete shit. No, God, no. God, no, God. <laughs> I, I'm just fucking with you now. It's okay. <laughs> all right, no, so we got, we got the, all these guys about to walk on top of a mine, and actually, uh, oh my God, it self kills. Oh no, Saken, that is hilarious as shit. Uh, it looks like they're taking the long corridor onto site here. Nevo getting behind the other A. They got two oh my God. in the upper platform there. Juke is already down. Uh, Lamp has got his back turned. Mixo coming in and getting the rest of the kill. Saken, though, able as a respawn. 
able to get in and get a kill. Oh my god, Loke's already planting. Loke's already planting. And Taz yeah, has no, coverage. This is a plant. Oh my god. Now let's see, see how they hold rage, this. Rage, rage, rage. They're getting the, getting the offensive, offensive we'll, we'll mine see. down there, straight out of the spawn, so you can, you can run straight onto it. But I can't see because I'm flashed. Mine has been detonated. I think at least two knocked down there. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, God, this, flashed this again. One oh, NG, my eyes. one NG, and he's down. And he's gipped. That's, yeah. Nice work. Oh, again. You know, it's just like, that's, this, this is again, it's another reason why I think two engineers are ridiculously strong. But yeah, Defiance here. Okay. As I said before, you know, a good team is a good team on this map. Uh oh. Second, they're trying to get in. Uh oh. The, the oh. Some on it. Wow, they were able to get the kill. Oh my, oh my god. god. Great play there by Bling Dirty. That's not easy. Look, look there. Going, what's happened? That was really it. close. That was really, really close. Uh, they can't believe it. I don't think they can believe it. Yeah. I don't believe it. Very well. Well played there by Bling Dirty. Yeah. I mean, that, that, was, that was ridiculously close. Uh, and on top of that, I mean, it, it was, you could see that the shots were coming. I think they had a guy over here trying to get shots on the guy disarming. Oh, that being said, they just went on the oh, other side. Is Excuse that me. on the other side? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, little surprise I plant. I can't see who planted that, but great, great little um, sneaky maneuver there. Again, it's just an, another reason why team play is ridiculously important. You need to make sure you have someone on the other side. And Saken's disarming, but oh, there's a guy behind him and he's been gibbed. I think he's gibbed. Yeah. Yeah, he's gibbed. I, I, I zoomed up. Again. The fight's the plant in the mine. No, that beat Make sure it doesn't get Lamp, that lamp got him down. Is that bring team uh, ET are retaking the site, but there's that turret in the corner that's getting those tags to take out two for that's the team. Strong offensive turret. Saken's still the only engineer, and we're done. Okay, so no. we're on to the uh, beautiful escort objective. This is. Um, Quite fun, actually. I like this part. I have to say, um, this yeah. is one of my favorite parts about Brink, is because you're constantly moving, things are changing. You need, you need to definitely keep adapting to wherever the escort is. But um, it looks like they are going. Defiance are pushing straight into the cafe area, getting those early frags in. But it looks like a Brink team only sending two to the cafe. Yeah. Um, well, that kind of makes sense if maybe they're sending a couple down the the back way. But I do not see that at all. No, um, you definitely need the cafe in the first couple of minutes, well, first couple of steps, I should say, of this map. Extremely, extremely important to hold. Well, not they, only have they, that, yeah, um, they, they set office. up way far back. Way yeah. far back. That that um, kind of... I mean, me. it's, not, it's not bad to send one down that long corridor on the left. As oh, I, I, I see what they did, though. Joshua and Saken went around and flanked, and they've already... Uh, th th basically, they, they made the assumption, and they guessed correctly, that one guy is going to be escorting and everyone else is pushing out. So they waited, yep. and then they looped around, got behind, and uh, and killed off the one guy escorting. And there is the, there's the damage. Very now we're seeing more typical play. There, yeah. Very yeah. smart play. Uh, making yeah. sure they're just hiding, hiding, keeping an eye on the objective, and just using the um, positional advantage, just not even looking. And as soon as that escort's up, tag him down. Yeah. Very smart thing. So well, they can get the turret up there. And a mine, a very, very lackluster mine there. Oh, looks like he's replacing it. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to waste the pit, but then again. Again, yeah. Now, um, particularly the crossfire that they do have set up, it, it's pretty solid. A lamp, it, you know, this is actually a little bit too exposed. I, I don't like this position. Um, yeah, this is very hard if you don't have QPD. Ooh! You need to Tav is from behind, is flanking. You see this? Tabs yes, and uh, yeah, very nice. Simon getting the call, cool, getting one frag, but again, damage already taken. Juve and Squid pushing around the back, gonna try and take out Tabs. Tabs know that already, already getting the calls. He knows what's going on. But again, um, bring the bring the team not doing anything bad here. You know, they're locking down the spawns, they're getting around the back. Yeah, Josh wow. was not gonna be able to get in, and looks like he's been pulled down by Avengers, joined in by Juve. Saken gets a self buff. Oh, and they're, like they're moving the up to your, and rabbit, I guess now they, they just need to get this escort out of the cafeteria and they can forget all about it. Yeah, but so far, I mean, th this is a, a pretty hefty momentum. Only 14 minutes and 45 seconds in. Yeah. And, and that's, uh, you know. It's quite easy to see the, you know, the early plant by an attacking team and just go, uh, and then just kind of go downhill from there. Yeah, your, your wind is... Hot. That being said, though, they're, they're pressing out again. They do have to watch from flanking, though. The offense can now uh, come through these back areas. I'm going to... Oh, in fact, here's Simoon. He's not a medic, but... 
Uh oh, he hits a nade. Wow, what a great nade by Saken. Fantastic. Yeah, DJ again using that um, uh, grenade shooting to the best of his advantage. So strong, so useful. Yeah. And Locks choosing the sniper as a second. Oh no, he's not actually. Wow, the, the revolver, sorry, actually. Again, he's still, it's just like a mini sniper. Yeah, again, yeah, it, it is headshots. pretty ridiculous how useful the revolvers can be in this game. Mm. It's like uh, having, it, it's definitely important, especially in the places like this when you have those long corridors, you need that revolver or you just get stuck with an SMG that does nothing at long range. Now, what are your thoughts? Because I, I think um, generally the consensus is most battles are medium or close range, so you know, things like the Carb 9 reign supreme, but what are your thoughts uh, well, um, for his weapon selection? Uh, when people got over knowing the Carb 9 was the strongest weapon, that's all we saw. Like This is like the first week or two of Brink. I saw the Carb 9 was the way forward and the revolver. It was nothing else. Then people started learning things like the machine pistols, just, just like having a mini SMG when you run out of ammo. Uh, yeah. And um, switching the revolver up, um, but um, again, uh, as we've seen now, people are starting to pick up these medium oh, right. classes so that they can have a SMG and a rifle on SMG and a sniper, so they can play that long range and mid range game. Um, oh, I, I disagree with what Saken just did there. Uh, he basically ran in and shot the escort, but he left at least one medic, if not two, alive. Yeah, no, right around him. That. It, 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 it's easy to. It's easy to think that's the right option, but you no, want to kill it, the medic. Yeah, you want. Or actually, you need to kill both medics. Don't even engage if you know. Yeah, you don't have it's clean just, shot in both. The medic, the medics are so much more important in those situations. Yeah, it's good to get those like extra couple of seconds downtime on the um, on the escort. But uh, again, you know, the medic getting straight up, the medic can kill you, the medic can escort him. The medic is so much more useful in there, so you need to focus him down 100. percent And again, now here, uh, where, where's the guy up top? I would love to see a um. A guy from Brink team up on this third level, and there's yeah. nothing there. Yeah, he's, he's so easy to forget that. It looks like uh, is that a bench? No, no, no one using the vents or that upper, um, up, that upper level balcony above slope. Um, mm -hmm. You can get so many tracks from there, especially in the kind of first half of the game. If well, you just I just realized Saken is just now, uh, take I guess taking that command post. Yeah, yeah, very important. You need to definitely get those command posts just as soon as possible. It's surprising he. Especially that one's a health command post, if I recall correctly. I can't remember which. It, it which. is. It is. Uh, yeah, so yeah, supply is first floor. Both, both, both are just as useful as each other. But again, yeah, it, it'd be so frustrating to have. It, it, if a team, no one has it, then there's no advantage. Uh, you want, if you're the defending team, you, you see that, that message. Also, Simoon's also repairing lift generator. So we're about to have a another route in. I'm gonna watch the. Uh, Elevator for a second. Let's try to get in a position where I can see that. Yeah, the elevator, um, again, it, unfortunately, is a bit bugs and you can't get yourself stuck in the elevator <laughs> if you're silly and you start jumping about. But again, it, yeah, it does give you that extra advantage into that higher ground to take this upper cafeteria area. All right, and again, it shuts them. It shuts them down from going down. I want to see Loke flanking. That's that's what I want to see. Lock, Loke, whatever it is. He goes actually switches up to soldier. Interesting. Actually, I went back to medic. Okay. Yeah. Um. It must be a misclick or something. We should pick up ammo or something. They are playing a um three medic. Uh, sorry, four medic NG. So um again, yeah. as I said before, I'm gonna keep saying it because I do think it's right. Two NG is strong. Um. But whatever, th it's obviously working for them. So I can't, you know. <laughs> can't knock it too much, right? Can't deny that. Nice long range work there by a lamp taking down Loke, Lock, whatever. Yeah, and, it's not uh, easy. It's not easy, especially um, this little choke here because there's so much range on the good position start. Now, here, here's effective. the problem that I have with this map is at this point right here, the offense has to run a flat 20 second sprint to just get yes. anywhere near the objective. This is where this is where the medics come ridiculously useful and giving is so important because. You can turn the tide of any fight now. We just literally getting oh my god! See that Sagan just took down two. Simon finally got the kill, but he was able to stop single-handedly the elevator push. Oh man, mm. that could have been devastating because that's high ground right there. Yeah, if you get the call on that elevator push, or if you get called on that elevator push, then that elevator push is evil. But if you can get in there and behind them, then you can cause so much devastation. But yeah, here we're watching our 20-second sprint. 
like Squid and uh, Avengers were having, oh, Squid and um, Lock having like a pistol battle there, but then uh, Nick Fair and Avengers come with their SMGs and nades to spoil Squid's fun. Let's see if I can find tabs. He went into the vents. Tab, yeah, he's, he's taking the higher ground, which um, right now is. There we go. Uh, he's been spotted though. He's got to go back way. Actually, he needs to go back even further. They're about to get a shot on him. There he is. Yep. There, yeah, taking him down. Yeah, good, I, good it's reaction. usually good if, if you get spotted up there. You really need to go all the way back, med yourself mm. up. You know, yeah. give yourself time. Um, don't be afraid to um, say if you're pushing one way and you get seen. Don't be afraid to run away because the enemy team they're gonna still think you're there sitting around the corner. And, and, that's one that's well, to worry about. and here's the most important thing: if they go chasing after Tavs where he was, that's yeah. one less gun on the objective. That's one exactly. less gun, like exactly. you know, in, in a spot where. There's no business. There's no benefit for them aiming. Oh, look at this low. Oh, oh my God! Fantastic work there. Um, joined in by Avengers and Mixo, but uh, they have this. They are moving him. Yeah. That oh, is the you can take should in the not have left that there. position though. I would have kept um, that high ground. Are they expecting them to not take that route, the upper route? Well, that oh, okay. See, moon's up there. Minus three. So that's they're taking it. Gonna get the frags. Yeah, the clients have this. Avengers there. It will be hard not to hard to stop this, particularly hard to stop this, and they're going to get the just under 13 sec, 13 minutes here, which yeah, isn't yeah, a bad not, time. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad. Yeah, this map really should be about um, 10 to 15 minutes. I feel. Mm, yeah. Um, again, yeah, it's it's quite easy just to chip away and chip away, and eventually get yourself in a position where you can just walk him into the objective. I'll do it. And that's the win Excellent for uh, defense. Work, Again, showing they are the strongest, the stronger the team here. Sorry. Again, brinkteam.et created mm -hmm. a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I've got, uh, I've got stuff to do with that. It's all good. It's all good. Well, of course, now we do still have the opportunity for Brink Team to attempt to yep, beat see. the time. Because obviously, yeah, they can, they can uh, get some. Um, I'm not sure if um, Brink Team can win anymore. I'm not 100% sure on the rules, but they obviously, that if, if that is the case, then they need to pay for pride. I'm sure you yeah, you know, they, they, they need to try to beat the time. They need to beat the time? Oh, of course. Well, yes, of course, because they're attacking team. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's like, yeah, sometimes yeah. the games get so drawn out, you forget if you're first half exactly. or second half. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and then, of course, the other thing is uh, you get so used to seeing 20 minutes uh, time to beat, so you kind Again, of, yeah. you know, yeah. I thought, yeah, I was thinking, all right, so they got 13 minutes to do something, and I was like, no, that's not right. Uh, but yeah, again, they need to um, pull themselves together and someone needs to take control and say, look, this is what we're going to do and they need to work as a team because that's the only way I can see them pulling through from here. It's doable, really doable. They are well, a decent team. And they also need, you know what they need is they need that 28-second uh, plant that we saw on the again, other side yeah. to go in their favor and it needs to be un... Uh, I guess it needs to completely I'm, blow. I think I need to rejoin... Really, really quickly. Okay. Sorry, I've, uh, I've lost all the names. Sorry. No worries. All right. Oh, it looks like we got. Ooh, doing a little bit of a uh, back court loving. Let's see if he uses his height advantage. At least anything else to spot. And he goes up against Loke and takes him down. He does hit a mine though. He's really weak here. Down he goes. Tabs picks up the. Slack and nice uh, Lazarus grenade to get him back up. That thing said, "How's blue side look?" Uh, covered by a turret, special turret, special people. It's fine, again, yeah, being strong, strong defense here. No, I wouldn't expect anything less from them. Yeah. Um, just a comment on their team. Looks like they are going for the two NG, two medic soldier, which I'm pretty, pretty proud of. It's definitely a strong. I, I agree with that lineup. Yeah, we got three meds and two soldiers. Again, for um, I know, it's 17% every ability. single bullet. Exactly, and 20% on bullet damage as well from the capture. Right, right. So, well, um, you're, you're assuming the soldiers actually give out their capture. Come on. <laughs> well, um, I, I have <laughs> forced my team to take the Kevlar back when the improved weapon buff was around. I would literally get it in my ear if I didn't give a weapon buff over a Kevlar. But now I can finally go, no, you're meant to have Kevlar. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, extremely important. That's, I think it's one of the reasons why they removed him. 
improve weapon buff because if you have if you have a soldier with the Kevlar on and then extra Kevlar on, then the 33 weapon percent weapon buff. There's no reason how there's no no reason how a good fracker can't run out and just get five frags on everyone who's on five unbuff people. And see, I'm not sure what Squid is doing here, because um, he's now not going to spawn with the rest of his team. He's he's gonna be 10 seconds late, easy. Not yeah, it's more. Just lack of communication. I don't know what Josh is doing. He's completely. Completely ruining himself. I mean, for for an just, ET team, it, or supposedly an yeah, ET team, it's, it's just a bit odd. It's, uh, yeah, I think if anyone did that in our team, we would actually just literally wouldn't stop hearing about it. It's, just you just kick him, right? To, <laughs> just, you need, you're yes, done. Exactly. <laughs> you need to make sure you're with your team, and especially at this point when your four people just be just spawned and you're at the door knocking, you know, you can't do that. You can't oh die. God. And like, look at this you know, beautiful use of the pipes and cover. Yeah, it looks just standing back here. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll kill two as they come through, no problem. Actually fragging. Not giving. Fine. Let's see if I can stick with a shoulder cam for this uh, security team. Yeah, let's watch the Juve. We haven't watched Juve enough today. But yeah, I, I see everything very disjointed. I'm kind of hopping around. Um, Everyone is alone. Everyone that I go spec. Oh, here we go. They're grouping up a little bit. Uh, as soon as I say that, Mixo comes up and shoots you from the head. So yeah, everyone is. Uh, there's a revive. Okay, let, let's see if maybe Lamp and Juve work together. Um, they have the opportunity to go up around the back. They know how to do it. I mean, it's... yeah, I, I know. I know at least Lamp does. He did it a little bit earlier. But um, he looks like he's just been dead weight here, sitting back while his team is poking away. Yeah, I mean, Juve just went two on one and did not survive. Again, they're, they're running in one by one, and now look, they've got two people who missed the spawn, and then you now you have Squid who's running off. Yeah. Three into upper. Oh, yeah, we we got three together. Oh. oh, no, make it two together. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, oh, for yeah, yeah. people that don't play objective based games, this can be very frustrating to, like, um, you know, to watch when you know you know what it should look like. It should look yeah. like maybe a three-two split, you know, or or, yeah, or something like that. Like that. Or, or, or just or just you know everyone staying alive. It, it's 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 quite easy to go. Well, yeah, we should push as a five, not push as a three, and then a two, and then a three, then a two. But um, in the heat at the moment, I don't blame them. It is easy to forget and just go. Oh, Oh, I'm planning, down. planning, Juve, oh my god, they were so close to finishing the animation, that being said, he is down. Um, yeah, what, uh, I, I guess, the major thing, is, it's not really so much about what route you take at the start, that's not the important thing. What, what we are trying to see and look for is, um, oh wow, <laughs> Tabs pick up a pair. Uh, what, what we are looking for is, when the push comes, is it a coordinated thing where you've got, you know, at that moment you've got maybe one coming high ground, one coming back, and three coming front door? Or is it, you know, you, you got two guys dropping in at the same time as the other three push another entrance? You know, that's the kind of coordination that needs to happen in order to complete objectives. And we're just not seeing it out of this. Uh, no, well, what, how I see it is there's three stages to attacking. Uh, from what I kind of gathered, there's first there's that initial push where you get them before they manage to get comfortable as an right. attack. Right. So you get in there, and these these can be uh, all in a five in one push. You know, everyone pushes one position, or this could literally be like a two three push. Or something like that. Then you have your okay. We know where they um. No, then you have sorry your picking where you kind of set people send people in different directions find out where they play find out where they're weak and then right. you try and edge your way in then after there you have the okay we know how where they play we know how they play let's push with the this push you know um two uh right around the left and then one at the top and then two at the right you know things basically like something that. to directly counter what they're playing yeah you have to constantly be adapting you can have your strategies you can have your setups but you constantly need to be adapting to um, the enemy team play because you know you could find yourself against a really confusing setup that you not you haven't seen before and you just get caught off guard and then all your pushes just get taken apart yeah so so far pretty solid hold by the resistance we've seen a pretty close 
plant, but I don't think it could have been defended. I mean, that that's the other thing. Not only can no. you, does it take, you, you know, six seconds. You could have got it down, and then they had 40 seconds to defuse it, which yeah. is at least two waves and of uh, two engineers. So, couldn't see um, nice. Ring Team the easy game there, but... You know, I have to say, it's really fun to watch Locke or Loke just run Soldier, because it seems like yeah. he has a really solid grasp of his abilities and... Um, it's just it's fun to watch, you know, watch someone that's good at what you're doing. He's, he's, he's got that aim, he's got, he's got strong aim and he knows how to use his character and he's patient and he's smart and everything a player should be, I think. Yeah, I would agree. Strong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice nade from Avengers. Well, I think technically, I think that was Loke um, using grenade shooting against Avengers grenades to kill Lamp. Mm. Is that is that even possible? I don't know. <laughs> um, um, well. <laughs> yeah. But it looked good when it happened. Nigga, Juf still sticking with that rifle. Um, Unfortunately, we didn't get to see him use that rifle on defense for too long, so I can't quite on that. I was still excited to see, but, you know, things happen. Teams win, teams lose. Yeah, Simon's um, pushing out. Let's see if we can get some flankage. Joshua, already calling the GG. Four minutes in. I would say they're not... They necessarily may not be the strongest team, but mentally, they're not there from high Oh, yeah, sin. I agree. And that's let me down a lot. And again, you know, so if they're supposedly an ET team, I, it's, that that's where it's again, odd yeah. to me. Um, I think I think as I think it wouldn't surprise me if um, whoever said they have a level seven character that is actually true, and they just really haven't put in the time that they needed. Yeah. M maybe that was the thing. Like they said, okay, well, we'll pick a weekend to practice. Yeah. Although I think it's, I was like level ten within two days, so. I think I was the last day. Of twenty in my team. I was going to the, I, was, I was level 17 or something, and I was going to Ducky saying, "Oh God, getting to level 20 is hard." And he's like, "Mate, I've already been to level 20 like fifth, like five times and respect." And I'm like, "Okay, then, then I just play pub for like the next five hours." <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I, I have I think five or six level 20s at this point. Uh, I'm, but I have only well, um, as soon as we started playing proper games, I haven't really gone to pub, so I only have the one character. But I have been tempted to level up them. Um, so I was like, wow, now, level, um, level up a uh, medium class, just so you, I can try this new, you know, SMG rifle, SMG sniper setup, because people are using them, and they are proven ridiculously annoying yeah. to play against. Yeah, and, and I, I do find it interesting how, you know, again, when the game was released, everyone said, oh, well, there's, there's the go-to weapon, the Carb-9 and the Seagull, mm -hmm. you don't need to do anything else. But now, you know, it's been a, a month, and people are starting to go, well, actually... While those are still really strong, in situations, it makes a lot of sense to run this setup. So, for yeah, example, I... we saw sniping be extremely effective on Reactor. And that's a map that, quite frankly, has a lot of close quarters. Yeah, but... again, it's like, it, it could be Shipyard, Shipyard, which is just full of long corridors. Yeah, yeah. And you would, it wouldn't surprise me that, you know, in a few months when patches or SDK comes out, you'll end up seeing, uh, like, two snipers being used, like, you would in Counter Strike Source, you know. Right. Common practice. Right. Um, I don't quite the on this, but, um, uh, Mida has said that the Carb 9 is getting a nerf in the next patch. Probably. Probably. Again, don't quote me on this, but, um, again, if that does happen, then wouldn't be I think we'll see, be seeing a lot more medium classes and this rifle SMG mix ups. Yeah. So we got a minute forty left to go and looks like we are gonna be held uh, at this first objective. And Defiance has been quite defiant in holding up to their name. Completely defiance. yeah, completely just uh, not allowing anything to happen in terms of objective progression and for this E T team. Yep. Yeah, and bring team .et have been um, uh, enemy territory team. Man, that's all. <laughs> yeah, uh, but you know, I, I have to say their failings haven't been brink. Their failings have been in the teamwork that should be evident in I'm ET sure. play. Well, um, uh, what I'm guessing is they've all 
come from an enemy, obviously, they've all come from an enemy territory background, and they've been playing that for a couple of years, and they have, they're quite confident in that, they know, the, they know the angles, they know the strategies, they know enough to be ridiculously good at it, and then they've come together, and they all have the experience in ET, and they're an awesome ET team because of that, but then they come to Brink, and they realise, actually, we're not that good as a team. Yeah. We're smart at ET. We know we know everything about ET. You, you can, you know, in any game you're good at, you can join a pickup group, and then everyone plays fine as long as everyone's good. But you know, in Brink, you don't. Have, no one has like, any experience in Brink. Oh wow! No look at Sagan. He, he's rolled two, killed off two. I think he also got another kill against one. Oh, Squid getting the team kill on Squid. Yeah, Squid just uh, <laughs> knifes him, buddy. <laughs> on his own team. That's what you do with 11 seconds. GG, goddamn, it took a long time for Sagan to go down, but that was fun to watch. Um, yeah, so that's going to wrap up our coverage of the, uh, I almost said Intel Extreme Masters. Um, no, actually from the Electronic Sports League um, Brink Championship. This has been Group Stage Play Day number one. We will be back next Sunday. Shoot, what was it? C Simu had some pretty solid plays as well. Uh, it seemed like he was usually the objective guy. So, mm -hmm. good stuff, and uh, really solid play from Defiance. I, I'm glad to see him. I'm interested to see how they play in the rest of the tournament, because exactly. um, I've never seen them play before, so I couldn't rate yeah. them personally. Um, but well, like, I, I mean, I remember Defiance from, from the old days. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think this is a slightly different, you know, it's not the core group, but um, it's not like Dignitas, who's had, like, Anderson for ever, you know, and, and Bjorn, and, you know. Uh, it, so it's, it's a different crew, but the other thing, um, Mouse Sports, uh, I was also really happy to see that they've formed up a, a Brink team and they've joined through the last chance qualifier. Um, so you know, yeah, wasn't it um, too strong? They used to go under just. Typically. I think. Yeah, I think I think that that sounds right. I, I'm not yeah. exactly sure. To yeah, we did play them a few times. A strong, very very strong team. They have uh, quite far to go in the Germany, but um, I would have to say, from my personal experience, uh, a lot of other countries are quite further ahead, UK to name as well. Uh, yeah. They're not up to the standard, but they have potential to go. Yeah. Prove me wrong, guys. Prove me wrong. Prove me, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, and I just want to say thank you uh, to hopping in and, and co-hosting with me, because it's been, it's been great to have a, another voice. I mean, I, after several hours uh, <laughs> doing this on my own, it, it's always nice to have someone else. So thank you very much. Right. And, and, and you just, is it just GFN, or like do you have... GFN, yeah. Um, GFN, yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a secret. I'll let you all um, let me guess what it stands for. Everyone have a bit of fun there. But um, if you would like to follow me on Twitter, uh, GFN Mouser, which a lot of people, which is kind of my little tournament name. But um, okay. GFN okay. Mouser at Twitter, so yeah. All right, sweet. So, uh, yeah, check out Brink videos. And, of course, our Twitter is the Brink TV. So, twitter.com slash the Brink TV. Facebook is slash Brink TV. And as you might imagine, we have a Steam community that is labeled Brink TV. So, check us out, join us, uh, and follow us on Twitter, especially for any sort of uh, schedule updates. And on that note, uh, thank you once again, GFN, for hopping in and, and tossing, tossing the voice thank you very much uh, into the me. wilderness. And so, we'll see you next week right here on Brink TV. Good night. See ya.